what are the qualities of true love? Um, really beautiful. I'm, I'm going to read you the qualities that are um, in A Course in Miracles that are the qualities of what A Course in Miracles calls a teacher of God, because God is love. So if somebody's teaching love, that means they're expressing love, they're embodying love. The best place to be because you have to live it and own it and embody it in order to teach it. In, in A Course in Miracles, it also says we teach people who we believe ourselves to be. So when you become a teacher of love or a teacher of God, this is what it looks like. What are the qualities of true love? And this is how it's given in A Course in Miracles. Trust. You have trust. It means you not only trust yourself, you trust other people, you trust life ultimately, because you're focusing on a vein that's different than having to listen to headlines or having to pay attention to what's right or wrong or, or you know, what's good or bad. You're trusting your true self, your inner being, you're aligning with that. Somebody who's really teaching love has this anchor, this rootedness in love. So you're trusting yourself in order to be able to engage with the world in a way that feels as though it's safe and sound and absolutely love in the making if it doesn't feel like love already. Next one, honesty. This is a different brand of honesty because it's radical honesty in that you are more like an innocent child that might say things not to hurt or harm anybody and not callously or, you know, unconsciously. It's that you're honest. You don't apologize for being who you are. You know, there's an authenticity about you and you don't expect other people to be something that you need them to be. You appreciate their authenticity and they might, you know, dance to a different rhythm. They might have other ideas about what feels more honest for them. And you start to appreciate honesty and, and it becomes really, really important to you so that you appreciate when someone's honest, even if it's a difference of opinion. Next one, tolerance. Well, when you can appreciate honesty, you also have this tolerance about you that uh, you're kind of get the joke in that you're waiting for the next thing to evolve from this. So why would you not be tolerant? You kind of want to watch things play out. There's always, and then there's this to the divine. Don't like it? Stick with it. This too shall pass. This is going to change. It always changes. There's a tolerance that lets you watch and appreciate things that pretty much make life captivating. So it's not even just tolerating when you can't stand it. It's like, oh, what's going to happen next? I'll see. Let's just see. Let's just wait and see. It's a, it's a really powerful, beautiful way to be. Gentleness. You realize that you don't have to demand anything. And when you start to feel the gentleness that the divine has towards you as you meditate or become more mindful or contemplative or spend time in nature, you start to feel this gentleness that's part of the divine. And it begins something to and it begins to be something that you want to uh, and feel so good emulating and letting it flow through you. So there's just, it's, it's not a gentleness because you're touching everything with kid gloves. It's a gentleness in that there's an appreciation that you don't want to touch things that you really want to be able to watch and see how is that going to evolve or open or, or reveal itself to me. You are, are really appreciative and that brings a lot of gentleness joy. It's inherent in a life of someone who is uh, really true love oriented because there's always a childlike capacity to be able to appreciate things and, and joy is inherent in our spirit itself. So when you're connected to true love, there's an inherent joy to that. It's a feeling of a deep exhale, like you can relax and just appreciate things and, and feel like everything is worthy of your appreciation. Defenselessness. You're feeling more at one with things. So you're not feeling separate. So you're not feeling like I have to defend my territory or defend my way or defend myself in order to be right, to be happy. 
it feels much more like you're able to show up to things. And again, when you're not defending, you're letting things be as they are and they reveal themselves to you. Whenever we're thinking in finite terms, we're thinking of being stuck in a, in a hole, stuck in a position, stuck in a judgment. When we're in this place of defenselessness, we're open and expansive and trusting with all these other qualities coming into play. It just feels like life is, is benevolent and, and there's always goodness and kindness in the making if you stay rooted in love, true love. Next one, generosity. This is that kind of generosity where we've talked about that you can receive to give. So it's coming through you. It's one motion. You're receiving inspiration and you give it. You're receiving peaceful thoughts and you speak them. You're receiving love from the divine and you want to express and expand that because it's more and more of that comes through you as you express and expand it. So there's a definite generosity to this. There's always a feeling of overflowing into life because the divine is, is just giving you everything you could possibly need. True love gives. It's an expansive, expressive state, and you're going to be the recipient of that to be able to give that. And that's how it all goes around and around in this feeling of oneness. Um, patience. Patience, again, it's a different kind of patience in that you're watching, you know, what's next. This too shall pass or, and then there's this. You're curious because you know that things are either love now or love in the making, an opportunity to love or to bring love or to uh, experience a call for love in a way that you're there and available to bring true love. So always patience. Uh, relaxation or faith that you just feel like it's always going to evolve into something good. It's what you expect because you know what true love is. You know that it can't stay hidden or unexpressed for very long. So you can relax or have faith that, oh, this too shall pass. And then this will become something that that is something more than what it appears to be now if it's any drama or challenge just relax, just have this inherent faith because true love lets you know love wins. Next one, the final one, open-mindedness. I'd say and add to that open-heartedness because you're not so much in this intellectual mind. You're in this mind that's open to everything, ready to entertain everything. And, and realizing that your open-heartedness is how you experience true love. So I love those qualities. If everyone could experience them all day, every day, then we would know that true love is available. And, and what other priorities should we have in life? All of these amazing qualities to see human beings embodying them every day and defaulting to these every day, that's heaven on earth. Beautiful. Beautiful.